This is Ryan Dransfield at the tone. Leave your name and message and I'll get back to you. Hey up, Rylan. Got this Lancey from South Africa. But it got Brock on ship. Can they make it right for thee? Some of you have asked about the red car in the background of the workshop. It doesn't belong to the crap car collective. Ryan is restoring it for one of his customers. He is actually the only professional amongst us. The founding members of the Crap Car Collective are Simon, Matt and Mike. Simon was a panel beater and a painter in a past life, but now he's an award winning actor. And Matt is a successful businessman. Yes, really. Mike is a software engineer and professional liar. Ryan joined our endeavours a year or so ago when we rescued the Daimler Ferret. And if it wasn't for him, we'd still be struggling. So back to this car, whatever it is. The car is a South African import and it got damaged in transit. So Ryan is calling on Simon's years of experience to fix the dent in the rear quarter and rear panel. For this job, we're using a select bodywork jig, which we bought from a garage sale and it's incomplete, but it does have enough of the kit to be able to do what we need to do. Ryan had earlier mounted the body on the jig using these clamps and then squared it all up. He then welded these tabs onto the part of the body that needed pulling. Anyway, enough of the background information. I'm going to hand you over to the expert. So we'll, do is we'll start on here first. Right. And then if we need to just get the we need to get the shackle on. If we get the chain round that. Right. right. Hook that round there. You want to, You want to be in line with that. So get it in line so it's pulling straight. I'd say next one down. Next one down. Agreed? Yeah, I think so. Right. And then we need to just somehow... Turn I mean, it, it could there. go through there, actually. It could go through the same thing. Right. And what it should do is, as it's what it'll do is, as it's pulling it, it'll self-grip, but these aren't the best. Right. Get your foot pump off of there. And then, off you go, pump it. Steady though, steady. Because you'll rip the arse off it. Right, stop. Right, release it. Right, off we go again. Hang on, stop, 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 release it. Pulling at wrong angle. Oh, Drop no, it down no. a notch. Right, off you go. Go on. Right, a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, release it. Go up one. Yeah. Yep. Right, go. Do it. Yep. Do it. Go on. Right, whoa. Not doing what I wanted it to do. Right, go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, one more. Not leaving under tension. Yeah, just leave it under tension. Yeah. Can hold that first, Ryan. Right, do you want to release it? Right, go on. Stop, stop, stop. I really do getting into that. 
bit there. It's just a bit awkward. Yeah, you're working backwards, aren't you? Yeah. Let's release it for now, and we'll go back down there again. Hang on, let me drop this one. Uh, I'm happy with how it's going. What it's doing is it's pulling from that rather than from that. From that corner. Yeah, we might have to weld something on there. Yeah, you can weld another tab on that. Uh, because as daft as it seems, that's more or less there. Let me just try the gap. Gap's like that. You say it's pretty all right. Mm. But what? And if we look at that line there, can you hold it again for me? Sorry, cheers. That line there is about where it needs to be. That yeah. one what's pulling a bit more. But it's not it's not pulling this bit out no it's not pulling that corner back into where it should be is it no so we need to weld something on there right i've got another one of them tabs i think we need to give that a go yeah. before we do let's try and get this out yeah let's try and square this up and then boot lid will shut properly won't it yeah that's what i'm thinking problem is is we haven't really got a decent because there's no strength to it it's a flat yeah. bar yeah 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 um The only thing I can really do is if we... The problem is if I bolt that, yeah, I, it doesn't need that much of a pull. Ideally, you can get clamps like that that clamp sideways. Oh, right. And then, and then you pull off it. What about that? And pull off at middle. Do you know what that might work? And we could just, if we go up the chain into that. Well, actually, what we could do, we could just pull off this bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if we just undo one and take one away. And pull through that. Let's try that. No. Got for big bolts. Got, so that might that might be better. Yeah. We've got a bolt, so we'll just do one, two out front. Yeah, edge. yeah, that might work. Get it up, so you need it to be... Yeah, I'll just... Well, no, just do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get that one on first. Can you not just bolt it to a link of a chain? Will it not go through? No, it just well, it's just too big, in it? That's a shame. That's not really an ideal, is it? It'll work. It'll work. Then you just need to hook that to that. You'd, ne you'd never, oh, you'd. Oh, that hurt that. That's why you need steel toe cap boots in a workshop. Steel toe cap boots. <laughs> it missed the steel toe cap. You'd never do this on a strong pull because it just snapped that bolt. But oh. we're only doing a light pull. Yeah. Right, go on then. Give it a go. Oh, look at that. That'll do, that'll do. Do you know how the shape's meant to be on this? Uh, only going off that boot lid. Only, all I know is it's a compound. Well, plate. I reckon that's straight. I reckon that's meant to be straight. That bit there. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, possibly, yeah. And if you look at that, that looks pretty straight. Yeah. So, release it, see what it does. Right, a bit more. Right, stop. Right, releasing or leaving? No, I'm going to just tap this up here.
when you're pulling it, you've got to try and release the the str you know the stresses that are on it. Right. Right, release that now. Yeah, that'll do. Right, if you want to undo that. We'll take that off now. And somehow we need to pull it off of that now. Right, well we could use another one of these bolts and put the nut at the back. I'm thinking this, because I think it needs to be quite a big flat bar. Okay. We put that behind there like that and put a bolt through that. Yeah. We need to find something to. Um, well, we can, no, we can do that. We can hook it up onto yeah. that. No, it's fine. If that's bolted on, we'll put the puller on it. Just hook that up onto there. Yeah. All the, um, right, give it a go. Yeah, yeah we need it. To, there might not be enough on RAM. No, release it. There ain't going to be enough on RAM. Chain wants to come down anyway. Okay. <laughs> Mug. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Is it meant, I think that's meant to have it's a bit meant of, to have a bit of a curve, yeah. Yeah, I mean we can always put a plate on there and just pull it on there. Yeah, well that's in there as well, isn't it? Compared to that side. Is it meant to be flat? I think well this side is here, yeah. I think that's pushed in there, isn't it? Might just have to have a tab. Give it another, give it another pull, and then what I'll do is I'll get in with my chisel. Oh, it may end. Are you sure that's meant to be bent in? I'm fairly, fairly sure it's meant to be bent in, yes. See, what's this is had, this has had a rear panel in it at some point. Oh, right. that's factory welds there. And what's happening is, is that's holding that. Right. Is that beam? We might have to release that. Split it, yeah. So what I'm worried about is it just looks like it's rolled over. It doesn't look I know right. Mean, yeah. Which makes me think it's bent at the bottom as well. Well. But it can't be because, like you say, it just looks like the shape, doesn't it's just, it? It's just a nice, even curve, isn't it? The idea of doing it under tension is if you don't do it under tension, it just um, it just all springs back to where it wants to be. Right. Have you got some um, more grips? Pick the tight hammer, like one with a point on it. Oh, yeah, no, one with like a, a shovel. flat on it. Yeah, like one of uh, one of these. 
Uh, I've got that one. That'll do. I don't have one with a slight curve. No, that'll do. I've only got a small selection of um, my panel lamies here. Uh, Most of them are at home. Okay, now look. Jesus. Problem is, if we release it, it'll all buckle back up again. Yeah, until you get it somewhere. <laughs> I think that fold's supposed to be there, isn't it? Yeah, I get it's, it's like on. a drain, I think. Mm. It's not quite there yet, but we're... It's much better. Yeah. It's much, much better. I know. Uh, what we'll do is we'll release it and just see what it does what release. It, yeah, what happens? Because it might just end up... Right. Oh, brilliant. I did it out. Right, pull it, but just we'll put a bit more, put more tension on it. What's probably happened is, is when we've pulled it, and then I've been doing all this, look, we've been releasing really it. Really slowly. Yeah, plus that could have been releasing on the pressure. Go on. Go on. Whoa, whoa. Because obviously it's doing that again there, but I'm not bothered about that. Okay, right, release it nice and steady. It's not bad, that. No. We're getting there. Oh, it's fitting down, look. It's down, which it won't before. It's the first time it's been down for yeah. a minute. It is. Yeah, it is. Oh, we're making progress. Mm. We're making progress. Right. Probably get a bit of tension back on you again. No, I don't need tension no. on now. You can Take unbolt it, it you can remove it, yeah. I mean, obviously, that's got a right in the day. Rip all in it. We yeah, need to. It's that, it's that, that, isn't it? It's that, I, that's I don't the problem. Think that, if that's meant to go in, or if that's meant to go in. That's right, if that's meant to come out, if that's meant to go in. I don't know, I don't know, Is model it? well enough. Because that feels high there to me. So I think that, that I think that has to, I think that has to come out. I think, I yeah, think, it, I one, think yeah. it wants that pulling out there, but then it wants pulling out there as well. Yeah, and that that also pushing in there. And then that just wants that, you'll get that with your hammer and all. Yeah. I actually don't think that's far off now. No. I think you have. I mean, a bit of it wants a bit of polishing. That's sitting high there. Look in there. Yeah. If you look down here, look, because that's got a bit of. A, oh yeah. So this wants this wants sitting down here. Yep. So this wants a little bit of work on top, but I actually don't think that's far off now. It wants that back piece braying down. That. This bit here. Yeah. It wants that braying down yeah. there. Yeah, that's sort of almost like a factory lead, isn't it? Again? Yeah. Every time you do something with it, it's looking better and better. Yeah. Honestly, with a little bit of playing around with that, you'll get that. We just need to get your puller on that. Yep. And on there. Yep. I honestly think you've got that. I think that's almost there. From using this mm. point of view, I mean. Right. I think now we need to start going yeah, back on that. Said you want to go back yeah, you need to get a plate welded on there. But what we need to do now is get this out. So if you want to cut them off, yep. And then we'll weld them, we'll weld them onto here onto now. Onto that lip. Yep. Because we need to we need to get this crease out. Yep. 
you can see how it it tucks in look it goes round so what we've done is we've pulled off that and that's stayed back here so now we need to pull that out if that makes sense <laughs> Right, go on. Now, the problem with this is it's liable to tear, so we need to be careful. Whoa, whoa, steady, 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 steady. Right, just a tap at a time. And careful, don't stand at the back of it because it'll it could spring off. Go on, another another tap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Compost. Dude, that should be pretty much that should be pretty much flat. Yeah. You bit another tub. I can feel it pulling yeah, it you know. down, yeah, I saw it pull down. Go on. This is under a lot of tension, this. It is, isn't it? Go on. Whoa. What's the gap look like? Has it altered it's, it? Yeah, it's pulled it out at top. What's the petrol cap like? Yeah. Release it, let's try the other one. Well, let me just have a quick look at that dog app. Yeah, hasn't it? There's still <laughs> that bow in there as well. Yeah. Well, let's release it and we'll work down. Another stab. Just do. You know when it does that noise, mm. you want it to do that. But just give it one stab. Whoa! I knew that we were gonna go. Sorry, I knew that one more we we're gonna go. Bollocks! I could have done with it. Just being on that one thing and we just straighten it out. Ah. Pull it back on. Do it again. Trying to tear it in it. Yeah. Right, release it. We need to lower it down on there as well. Might have to go again actually. No, we're only just got enough chain there. Go on, give it a go. Go on. Go on, you're right. Okay, trying to twist that now. Mm. Look. <laughs> right, just hang on, hang on, hang on.
I don't put any more pulling on it because it's um I think it's just gonna tear it. Mm. It's that bit there. Yeah yeah. I can get in there. I can see it in there actually, it's better from I'm gonna have to stand in the boot floor. Yeah. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to do this. This better not drop on my head. Have we got um like a lumbar or something? I've got a pry bar, yeah. Nah, tap um, it's a more pry bar. How long do you want? Try that. That might work. Just watch that boot lid drop in the I've got place. it, yeah. Not looking that bad. Not looking bad. Yeah, it's proper tearing quarter though. It's proper tearing quarter. Just that. Yeah, I, I can't pull on there anymore. I'd say release it. Yeah. Try on this one now. Right, go for it. Right, release that. Right, grind these off. Let's get rid of them. Yep. What's the door gap look like? Uh, the door gap is a bit big at top, but it's not bad. That could be just that, because that worked right. Yeah. That could be just that, because that work, they work very good anyway. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see I it can there. Like, that and... Yeah. That, that's better, support. is that, Ryan? Yeah. That, that. That's better. Oh, yeah. I that had a right egg on it. Yeah, it did, yeah. yeah. I just want punching in a what's bit. The, on what's the gap like? This side's beautiful. It is. It's tight here. <laughs> but it, it can come forward. Go it can come forward. It's two mil shy here. Oh well, that's it then. Well, let's, I'll move Hasn't that forwards then in a second as well. Yeah. Let's have minute. them off and then we'll start. Yep. I think we're about there. Petrol fat. I can't believe that either. I don't understand that. I don't understand why it's like that. There's no. Because in fairness, it does look like that's too wide a gap when you look at the top at, and bottom. At the front. How does it bolt on? It's not, it's a pin. Oh, There's right. a grommet at the top of here and you just push pin in. I think it just needs to go, but I think it's been strained, Ryan. All right, what, like the hinges have been strained. Yeah. And just wants the thing just collapsing a bit. It just wants running forward. Oh, have you done it? Yeah. It's not too bad in this now. It's about right. Let's try that. I don't think that changed. I think it did. I think that's pretty. I think you'll get that. 
When if you go down there, you're not going to get much better than that. Just wants the whole boot wants to go in that direction about half a mil, but I won't worry about that. No, do I lay off? Brilliant. Right, can you hold the dolly directly underneath it? The curved side on the... the, the, the yeah, that, that side again. You know where I was? It wants to be back here. Yeah, I can hold it there. You ready? Yep. I honestly think you're about there. There's a few little... Like here, look, if you look there, there's... Um, right, on that, right on that peak oh, there. Yeah. It wants that tapping, tapping up. In, yeah. You could try it with that if you want. Yeah. If you can get right into the peak. Get into that. Right onto the car. That's it. Yeah, you're getting there. A bit more this way. Pretty much got it. Where am I? It could do with a little bit there. Just, uh, Why would my fingernail is there? Yeah, all right. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, I can see that. That Yeah, I can see where it's in. There's a little divot there. Yeah, I was looking at like that one just there on corner. No, I won't worry too much about that one. No. Try and get that one first. Right, okay. Where my, where my fingernail is. Yep, I can do that. Uh, can I have that little pointed one you've got? That little? That pointed one. Yep. That one. Yeah, you're not quite got it yet. You're in the right ballpark. Okay. You've not quite can got I, it. Can I have that big hammer you've got? The I mean, let's try and do it hammer and dolly. It should squeeze it. Give us the hammer. It should squeeze it. Yeah, it's got it. Got it. Just down here. Like you say, there's just there's loads of. Yeah. I think you're going to struggle with that. To be fair, you can. To get that out square, out flat again. I honestly think you're about there. I'd right. be I'd be welding those holes up now. All right. What is that? Hey, this is something to work to. Ah. To work on some of those low spots. Mm. And you, I honestly think that's that's not far off that. No, it's all right, is that? Compared to what it will like. Oh, god, yeah. Yeah. Are you happy with that, how much I that's am. recessed in there? Yeah, then, I yeah? do. Yeah, I think so. Don't you? I bashed it in quite a bit. Oh, you... The next thing to work on is obviously this. Oh, no. Yeah.
Yeah. You'll know if you add the trim. Yeah. Mm. You really need a trim just to try on it. Unfortunately, the old trim on this corner's bent and we haven't found any yet. Why is it bent? I don't know. Huh? No idea. On that one, I just... I, I, that's out and that's in, isn't it? It is, yeah, 100%. It's the way it's pulled it. Yeah. It, it's pulled, because we used more to the right, it's pulled that bit out. Oh, We right. could turn that puller all the way around and oh, try and, and pull, pull it. That. Oh, see yeah. if it might pull it out. Might do, might it? Yeah. But this is, this is you can see it all down there. Look, it's all, yeah, that's been welded in that, hasn't it? I know, yeah. Yeah, there's like a patch in that. What I would do is, have you seen those number plates you can get that are like that big? Yeah. I, well, would, I would stick one of those on it. I think what we ought to do is wrap it in carbon fibre. Or we could put a vinyl roof Yeah, that there. Would do, yeah, yeah. Or a wabasto in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's pull that, while we've got it on puller, let's turn that puller around. Yep. And see if we can get that, that out any better. Yeah, because that plate's got a slight bend to it. Wherever it's gone. Yeah. No, that plate's got a slight uh, bend to it. Yeah. So, if we, so pull, if, we, if we turn it around and we'll try and pull it, see if it'll pull out. I would we'll do it, it that way around. All oh, right. Okay. Do it that way around. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And maybe on there, and then it will put that bit into there. Would do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's that big bolt now. Let the apprentice do it this time. Yeah. Whereabouts? Do you want to just put your foot on release pedal for us? That's, That's it. it. On release, just press release down. That's it. Thank you. Lower it down. Lower it down. Two down. That's it. All right, and give it a give it a, a tug. It's time for a tug. Go on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we get in and get the... What it's trying to do is it's trying to mm. do that. Hmm. Not ideal. No. It's not tugging it where it wants to be. If we just weld that plate onto that crease then. You're gonna stretch it like hell. With it. You'd be better off with your puller. With that stuff with that slide on. We'll get that out then. Release it off. Where's uh, where's Dolly? It in. Yep. Ooh, lovely. That's what you like. Tin can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, that's going to go in, hasn't it? So that'll fix that. I think. I think, that's got, I think it's. I think it's right. Where that's tin, where you know when that's in. I think that's right. Yeah, I agree. It and fits just, better than yeah, it. Yeah, and it's just that that's not. Yeah, I agree. Because that there's. It's got a right. That, it's got a right dome on it, hasn't it? It's got a proper compound onto it, hasn't it? See the thing is now is it's got it's gained that curve up there. Look. Oh yeah. You think that's too much of a curve? Got nothing to compare it with. No. Just looks to have a kink there, but. 
Yeah, I noticed that. Like boot, then. It's all right, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The shape. Hmm? It has got a slight curve oh, to you it. You can't see, can you? Though? No. Oh, so you can't. oh, yeah, it's pink to me. You can just, oh, you can just follow it there. Come out like three or four mil, doesn't it? Mm. Middle. What's that? It's that. It's that. That's, so that's high there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think we did, we did that pull in it. Getting that panel nice, it's gonna be really hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What it's done now is it's just put a. It's made, oh, that it that, there, that was reasonably there, flat. It? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's hard every time I try and get that right. Some you upset it, but changes. what other yeah. stuff? Why are you doing it? Hmm? What's most important? What I think that's more important. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Personally. Slowly. Because I just said to him we can put a really big number plate on the back. Yeah. Well, I think number, number plate's that big anyway. Yeah. Or a, a complete face shift. Well, just, just make like a number plate that goes from there all the way across. I know. I know. <laughs> Paint it satin black like it was. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's the sounds. You know, a complete, like a, not brushed aluminium, but a complete aluminium rear face shift. Well, rally, rally ones are black. So that one yeah. Fix, fix, the, fix the dentist. Fit me right. <laughs> it's not my car. <laughs> Why don't you just ring uh, Lance here up and get a new rear panel? I've got to be honest with you, when you're doing stuff like this, it all becomes a better yeah, compromise. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> if we think that's meant to be straight, then the only thing I can suggest you do is you put a plate on there and weld it on top and try and pull it out that way. I don't think it's meant to be straight. I don't, because if you look at the boat lid, the, the boat, boat lid's got curved. an actual curve on it. Yeah. I don't think it's meant to be straight. That's more or less there now. Yeah. Once you, you need to clean that, that paint off. Yeah. And then just sort little bits out. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That'll sort, sort that out with that pin puller thing. Yeah, that one's pulling out. That yeah. one's pulling out across that line yeah. there. And that... That just needs pushing in. So yeah, what we've used is a um, select bracket jig. Um, just we've used it in its simplest form, put four brackets on, clamped it to the sills and pulled, that's it. That's the system that's on at the moment, it's a measuring system, but we've not used that. Um, and you can get it with bracket jigs, so you can really clamp it all down and make it secure when you pull. But basically, we've just used it to, to, to give it a pull and get that crease out, which I think is a, a pretty damn fine job. <laughs>